Okay, we've looked at the houses. What about the sign? The K2 Mars conjunction is in the sign of Libra. It's just coming to the end of that transit. It leaves Libra for Virgo on the 30th of October. And so for everyone in the world, K2 transiting through Libra, the sign of relationship, has raised to one's awareness our relationship scripts and issues. So this is coming to the end of that transit and at the time of this K2 Mars conjunction, the key time for cutting your anti-relationship script. And also, particularly focus on your Mars scripts in relationship at the time of this K2-Mars conjunction. You see, this is a peak time for getting your Mars scripts right for relationship, neither too aggressive or habitually nasty, but nor too weak, passive, false or under-assertive thus causing frustration and blame. And the next thing that is important is that the K2 Mars conjunction is conjunct the star speaker, S-P-I-C-A. Speaker is actually the anchor point of the sidereal zodiac. It's in Chitra Nakshatra. And remember, the symbol for Chitra is the pearl. When you first see a shell, it looks maybe even boring and dull. But open the shell and you see within it the shining pearl. And a cheetah's life task is ever to polish up more and more his or her pearl, brighter and ever brighter as long as he or she lives. And that energy is part of the K2-Mars conjunction, finding your pearl and polishing it. But it's also super important to be aware of other astrological energies that may be affecting your life, particularly ones that will really ramp up the violence of the K2-Mars conjunction. So I'm going to mention five ones you need to be aware of and if you've got those at the same time well yes do get a reading from me so examples of key transits and natal placements that will really beef up the impact on your consciousness and your life for this k2 mars conjunction are number one if you have your nodal return now in other words, if the nodes in the heavens are transiting over the nodes in your birth chart. In other words, if you have your natal K2 in Libra or Virgo, or if you have your natal Rahu in Aries or Pisces. In these cases, the impact of this Mars K2 conjunction will be immense. Another thing to really understand is Sade Sate. If you're in Sade Sate now, the impact of the K2 Mars conjunction will be massive. And I'd be very glad to give you a reading. Um, I've just entered Sade Sate and I fully empathise with people who are combining dealing with the K2 Mars conjunction and Sade Sate. Sade Sate is the death and rebirth, descending into the pit and arising again. Seven and a half year transit of Saturn, Lord of Karma, over your natal moon. And you'll be in it if you've got your natal moon in Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces or Aries in Vedic astrology. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces or Aries. Thirdly, really important, is Saturn transiting through your 22nd Drachna? The 22nd Drachna is the first third of your 8th house. And also, is Saturn transiting through your 64th Navamsha? If so, be super aware, 
there's a likelihood of health problems, injuries, grief, mental agony, discomfort or loss. Again, get a reading from me. And the next thing is, well, transit of Saturn through the eighth house. And of course, this particularly applies to Cancer Ascendants and Cancer Moons. If you have Ascendant in the sign Cancer, Moon in the sign Cancer, um, they need to be especially careful at this time because, of course, Saturn is transiting Aquarius, which is their eighth house from Ascendant or Moon. These experiences can, of course, alter our perception and our sense of self for the better. But often it's through very difficult experiences. And so we need to develop the perception and the understanding and do the spiritual work. I'd also mention, be aware if you have Chiron conjunct your Mars at this time of the K2 Mars conjunction, this could be a real wonderful time for you to develop perception of your Chiron Mars wound and heal it and gain, get a reading from me if you have Chiron conjunct Mars or Chiron in other strong aspect to Mars, like opposition or square, for example. OK, there is another dimension at this time. Pluto is square the nodal axis. We each of us have to be aware of a major twist to the tail at this time, Pluto square the nodal axis. So the nodes are Ketu at 1 Vedic Libra, Rahu at 1 Vedic Aries. Pluto is square them at 3 Vedic Capricorn. This gives Pluto radiating a fated destiny energy. And of course, if you're aspected by Pluto or the nodes at this time, you'll really be receiving it. Or if, Plu you know, if, if Pluto is aspecting one of your natal planets at the time of the K2 Mars conjunction, you will be offered a time to come into your empowerment, to stand more in your proper power, to naturally embody your proper power and let it govern how you hold yourself, how you relate, how you work, how you live, and to henceforward stand in your own proper power. So now I move to the K2 Mars conjunction overall summary. In more detail, the obvious energy of this K2 Mars conjunction is anger violence, war, accidents, medical incidents and disasters. But the more difficult to see and achieve potential is also needed increased spiritual awareness, courage, especially now that hopefully this video and blog post has alerted you to the potentials of the situation. So experiencing the gathering of this conjunction and going through the exact on October the 5th, prepare to burn through your limitations, your weaknesses and your wounds. And above all, stand more powerfully, more healed, and stronger and let the light shine through you at this time. It's a time of learning, a time of growth. From Ketu's aspect, transform your Ketu Mars conjunction's impact on you into a good time for healing. Especially be aware of any past life experiences that will arise for you and get a past life reading or healing. And for Mars impact, develop the extent to which you stand in your proper power, the extent to which you develop strength and proper leadership potential. 
And so treat this as a time for crisis and redemption. The heliacal rising star for this time of the K2 Mars conjunction is actually Alcares, whose energy is to be the living vessel for a sacred body of knowledge and philosophy. And the heliacal setting star, which declares how the energy of the heliacal rising star will unfold, has an energy of stand firm in your beliefs and principles. So I do hope this video and blog will be of great help. You can get a reading from me at my Star Wheel Astrology website. You can get um, past life healings and readings from the healers on my Love Star dating website. My wife Maggie Pashley does many, many different healing modalities worldwide online. So, blessings to us at this sharp juncture of challenge, but possible huge growth. Thank you.